Hey y'all, what's up? Jamie, that's me here. Welcome back to the channel, honey. Welcome back to another quick chat. Girl, we got to talk about what's going on with Miss Hosseline. Y'all know Hosseline got into this huge brawl with one of her former castmates, Miss Big Lex. Okay, so they got into this brawl after the TMT show that took place, you know, Floyd's whole fighting exhibition and everything, right? So there was a big brawl. And it was not a one-on-one, -on -one, like a lot of people love to claim that it was. It wasn't at all. It was Jocelyn and her minions, i.e. Melissa. A lot of people ask who Melissa is. Melissa is the ex-girlfriend to Jocelyn's baby daddy's baby mama, <laughs> Mimi Faust. See how messy that is? Also a former co-star, I guess you could say, of Love in Hip Hop Atlanta, okay? So she was dating Miss Mimi. And now her and Jocelyn are like besties, okay? So I don't know, girl. It makes me feel like, dang, Jocelyn, you want everything Mimi got? You feel what I'm saying, girl? You want everything you wanted that lady? Man, you went and had a Zorda like her. Then you don't went and took her ex-girl as your best friend. But anyway, and it ain't got nothing to do with nothing, okay? So M Melissa jumped into this fight, you know, attacking Miss uh, Big Lex. And then you also had some guy that was about to get jumped by a lot of guys because he also... Um, jumped into that fight at some point as well. And then there was another castmate um, by the name of Yummy, who also was a part of like throwing drink or whatever like that on Big Lex or whatever. So it's been a lot of stuff. Now, Jocelyn ended up getting arrested on four charges. And I can't recall exactly what the charges were. I do believe two of them may have been battery. One was like trespassing. And then there was another charge that she got. She ended up bailing out on $1,500 uh, bond cash. And um, now she's uh, out. She's on early. Not she's on release until pre-trial. So they're waiting on the trial to happen. So she has her release at this particular time. So I would believe that she's gonna have a trial. She's gonna have to deal with not so much as a trial, but she's gonna have to see the judge in like a month or so, probably. You know what I'm saying? Because now she got these four charges. Um. So that's what's going on. Now, after this fight came out, there were a lot of people that were on um, Jocelyn's side. They felt like Big Licks did a lot of talking, running her mouth in a lot of different interviews. And, you know, once it was on site, it was on site. But I feel like I'm cool with the on site, but I'm not cool with an unfair fight, if that makes sense. OK, all that jumping and stuff. That's what I'm not. I can't get with that in any capacity. OK, if you was beefing with that girl, you should have been beefing with that girl. You know what I'm saying? Like the beef should have been between them two. Why would you bring other people into it? They say it like ain't nobody trying to deal with all of that. OK. Um, I got a chance to check out Funky.Neva's video. Shout out to Funky.Neva. He pretty much let us know that he had a close source. And this source that he said they were kind of involved in it. So it led me to believe that it was Melissa. Okay. Allegedly, girl. Um, when Jocelyn got arrested, Melissa allegedly told Funky like, hey, Jocelyn got arrested for other stuff. Not the fight, but things that happened afterwards. And I said... I don't believe that. I believe whatever happened afterwards had a lot to do with what happened there. OK, with, with whatever she got arrested for afterwards, it had a lot to do with what happened before. it. Hello. In my opinion, now that this fight has happened and Jocelyn uh, was in jail without bond for like 24 hours or so, she eventually bailed out. She took to social media so that she could show off her chain. And let people know that she was out, okay? Uh, she flashed a chain saying, Puerto Rican princess, Miss Girl is out. Um, it looks like you might need to get a new chain because I'm looking at these comments. And girl, the comments is giving every bit of messy. I definitely want to share it with you guys over here on the neighborhood talk. But girl, it is too funny to me because y'all over here in the comments calling this lady cocaine bear. Like, what? Is that what the new chain should be? Because y'all over here chewing Miss uh, Puerto Rican up. Not somebody done called this woman Puerto Rican. Girl, let me scoop back out of it. Let me scoop back out of it for just a little bit, okay? Because what I really wanted to bring to y'all was some of the things that, um, well, not some of the things, but one, know this. Big Lex 911 call has been leaked and we are going to check that out but before we get to big Lex's 911 call I definitely want us to check out what one of the young ladies had to say when Jocelyn pretty much attacked her because Miss Girl was like how you gonna come over here and try and you know throw hands on me and girl, I ain't even have a whole lot of nothing to do with it so this is what this young woman said okay let's go ahead and get some things 
off the screen, okay? So this girl says, for everyone who keeps asking why I ran, obviously because two grown-ass men were following me, trying to jump me while I was by myself, okay? She goes on to say blue shirt and white shirt. Yes, that is correct. Blue shirt would have been Melissa. White shirt would have been the actual boy that I was telling you guys about, okay? That was involving himself in it as well. This young lady goes on to say, Jocelyn is damn near 40, hitting a 23-year-old. Her old ass needs to get her life together. She's a hot mess. If it was one of if, if it was one-on-one -on -one with Jocelyn, I would have defended myself. I'm not about to let two grown-ass men attack me. At the time, I didn't know it was a woman coming after me. She looked like a whole man. I would have fought her ass too. They lucky I couldn't walk in that SHI with my gun because I would have shot them in their leg. Then it would have been a different outcome. Listen. Listen, girl, she says that B.I.T. couldn't defend herself. She had her little group doing her dirty work like a week as B.I.T., even with big licks. She says, I had nothing to do with the fight. She wanted to hit me for no reason. Can y'all not tell in the video? I threw the drink after she hit me. Then I threw my cup at her. Then the two wannabe Captain save a came to attack me. She says uh, she couldn't fight her own battles the whole time. She says cocaine is one hell of a drug. B.I.T. go to rehab. All right. So this is what this young lady says. And... For me, I'm with her on that. I'm with I'm with Miss Girl on that. Okay. Um, everybody keeps talking about Jocelyn got them hands, got them hands, got them hands, got them hands. But every time we see her with the hands, the hands include multiple other hands in the pot. You see what I'm saying? It, it includes about five more other mother people. Okay. So that's giving a whole lot of more hands and feet in the pot is what it's over there including. That's the only time you really see the brawls really, really go down with Jocelyn. I haven't really seen too many one-on-ones unless she was dicking the fuck out of Stevie J. Hello? But never tried Miss Mimi Faust. I don't recall that. But y'all definitely remind me, okay? But I don't recall that. But I do want to get into this 911 call. That's the other thing I want to talk about. Because, like I said, when I was listening to one of Funky's video, he got source information saying that, oh... The situ the the arrest had nothing and the charges had nothing to do with the altercation that happened here with Lex. It was some things that happened afterwards and what she did afterwards that led to her being locked up. Well, now the 911 call is being leaked. And I'm like, you sure? Because for me, again, whatever happened before was tied to what happened afterwards. And it's all together. And that's why she was arrested. But let me go ahead and just pull this audio up so that we all can listen to exactly what Big Lex had to say. Just for the emergency. Um, let me, I got to run into the store. Hello? Yeah, I got to run into the store real quick. Okay. Do you have an emergency? Yeah, I do. I just got jumped at the, the TNC fight, the Floyd fight. Okay. Where, where, okay, where did that happen? That happened at the FLA uh, arena. I had to get away. They, they, beat, they beat me real bad. Okay. Do you need a paramedic? Um, I just need the police officer. I'm gonna, I want to press charges and file police report. What's the address here? The address is 13605 West Sunrise Boulevard. Okay. Are you at a business? Yeah. No, I'm at uh, the Shell gas station. Yeah, the show. Okay, yeah. and um, when, how long ago did this happen? It just happened like maybe like ten minutes ago, like ten fifteen minutes ago. Okay, do you know these people? Yeah, I know everybody who jumped me. Okay, just verify you don't need a paramedic. I want one. What's the address of the emergency? Mm. Um, let me. I got run into the store. Okay. So y'all heard that? It looked like she definitely called 911 and she did report the altercation that happened. And it sounds like she was the one that got the police out there, which is sad because it seems like nobody else was going to bring the police out there. All those security folks and everybody they had out there, they weren't going to bring nobody out there to see about her. But hey, she called 911, honey. And I guess some things got shook and shaken and all of that. And here we are. Miss Girl was arrested. Now, a lot of people are in the comments I'm seeing on social media saying that Big Lex is a, a snitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They felt like she was doing a lot of talking. Now she's calling the cops. 
um why can't she call the cops <laughs> like y'all sound dumb like why can't she call the cops i don't know why y'all sit up here and be entertained or shall i say manipulated by what society says or whatever hood society y'all go by as though you can't call the cops when somebody comes and fight you what girl are you crazy like girl yeah i'm gonna have your ass tied up in court are you crazy that makes no sense to me you can call whoever the hell you want to call preferably just call 911 child so i see nothing wrong with that she didn't have a one-on-one -on -one fight it was given from the moment they saw her they attacked that girl and they jumped on that girl and if you don't think that was 911 worthy then girl i have questions for you because a lot of y'all doing that big talk about trying to say she's a snitch or she's that or she's this or she's that Y'all would do, would do the same exact thing. And that's the gag for me. Y'all just trying to make that girl, y'all just trying to not be team Lex because y'all want to be so team Jocelyn because she's the bigger star. And she's known for having this type of um personality or and, and known to do these type of antics or whatever like that. So that's why y'all really on that side, girl. But I'm going to let y'all do whatever it is y'all want to do. But at the end of the day, Miss Ma'am got charges she's going to have to deal with. I do believe at least one of them may be a felony. So, girl, um, handle that however you handle that. Um, and either way, girl, good luck. So, like I said, I'm not mad at Lex for calling 911. And she said she know all the people that jumped her. But I feel a way that she know all the people that jumped her. But only Jocelyn was the one that got arrested yikes girl let me hop up off here y'all leave y'all thoughts and comments down below honey i'm jamie that's me don't forget to like comment subscribe share my videos or follow me on instagram and twitter at jamie that's me and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye, -bye.